Hey what's up everyone it's Sion here and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be looking into Bloxwave. I'm going to be doing some sort of tutorial on the application just to show you how I use it in my workflow. So for those of you who don't know, Bloxwave is an application that is made by Amplify. Amplify is a subsession of Novation and Novation makes great products such as the Focusrite interfaces. So yeah, they've been around for a little while. And they made this really excellent app called Bloxwave. It's one of the three apps I mainly use. Now I'm gonna be showing how I use it and the different ways you can use Bloxwave. There's so many ways you can make it work to your advantage. So right off the bat, I'm gonna open up Bloxwave right here. I'm gonna click on the icon and here we go. So what Bloxwave is, is a loop manager. It allows you to import loops and be able to work on it to create unique projects. So I'm going to open one of my earlier projects, which was a collaboration. So this song is up in Spotify and um, so this song is up in SoundCloud. So this was on my earlier project. Alright, so yeah, that's just a quick overview of the project. So the entire thing was made directly using Bloxwave. I'm going to open up a new project right now. We're going to call it PSN Suggestion. So when you open up Bloxwave, this is what you see initially. You've got this interface where it shows tools such as your drums, your melody, your FX, your vocal, your percussion, and your bass. So what Bloxwave likes to do is it tends to go in an order of drum, bass, and melody, or whatever that seems to suit the mood. So if we were just to start off to make a song, I press the note. So we're going to drum beat going on. I'm going to click on another square. I'm going to tap on auto. Then I'm going to tap on auto again. It tends to find loops that match based on whatever key and tempo that you've assigned to your sample. So, so there we go. Now, if we want to add another section, we click on this icon here, and then it shows this overview here. And then we can add another one by clicking on this square, and we can add more loops. Go again on auto. Now I can add melody or whatever order I want to go into. Let me add some vocals here. Yeah? Alright, so we've got two different sections here. So we've got the first one. I'll go. So if I want to work with some of this stuff, I can actually just press and hold it for a few seconds. I can copy it, tap on a new square, press and hold it and paste it. And it's right there. Of course, I can add a bit more layers here. So let's add some precautions to make it a bit heavy. And we're going to press play. Let's see what else comes up randomly. So yeah, I didn't like that sound. For me to silence it out, I just have to swipe up and down. You're going to find this similar to Groovebox as well, if you've been messing around with it. To silence the sound, just swipe down or up. And yeah. Okay, let's continue.
Okay, great. So we've got three sections over here. Now let's say I want to get a particular sound. Well, I can go to browse and it gives me the option to choose between loops that are already on blocks wave. By clicking on packs, I can be able to use any of the downloaded packs I have. So these are a few of the packs that I've managed to have. If I go directly into category, it sorts it up based on whatever you categorize the loop as. So bass, drums, FX, and you can see there's, some, there's a section here for user loops, which is loops that you import into Blockswave, and then the rest are just the packs. So in case you're trying to find a particular sound, you can easily find it here in Blockswave. User is where I use the most, because this allows me to actually import loops into blocks wave okay this is the full unlock with the unlock version you're able to on um, to use features such as importing the loops so if i tap on import i'm able to browse and navigate to my folder where i keep a lot of my loops so let's find something i want to work on this so i haven't really checked this out so let's just click on that so right off the bat it says this is a melodic so that's what it classifies it as i'm able to click on it and choose what I want to classify it as. So drums, melodic bass, vocal, percussion, FX, if I classify it as any of them, anytime I press auto, they will be added to the list. Imported or recorded, they don't show up in the auto randomized feature. So let's hear what this sounds like. So it's a click, I can easily just call it into a percussion. I'm going to import that, but let me add something else. I don't care too much about the key of a percussion. I mean, it's, it's always nice to know, but right now I'm not focused on that. Let's see if we can find a different loop that I can work with. All right, so let's find a loop we're going to work on. So I'm going to check for something I recently downloaded. 